Yeah, what's going on, guys? So today I'm playing this 3.8 um firebow deck. Basically, I just replaced the ice wizard with the wizard, and we're gonna see how this works. Um, honestly, I think that it might actually be a pretty good replacement because um, the wizard is really really good for splash damage and also like against swarm decks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, in the first game here against Geoda King. Looks like he's playing giant, so I'm just gonna go expo their lane. Um, mini Pekka. He might zap this, so I'm actually just gonna log right away. Oh, please die. Nice. Okay, we get a nice lock on here to start the game. Um, I don't have Tesla in cycle, unfortunately. So let me think how I wanna do this. Okay, we need to go for a knight on the giant, and then I think we go for a wizard in the middle of here to kinda help deal with both lanes. Oh yeah, wizard's doing a lot of damage on that giant. Nice. Yeah, solid right there. So I think I'm just going to go for an expo on the left lane to keep the pressure up since I know he doesn't have that much elixir. Um oh he has monk. That's unfortunate. So yeah, expo's expo is rip. Um monk's also pretty good against the wizard, I think. Um I'm pretty excited for the balance changes that are happening in Well today, for me, today is Monday, so they're happening on Wednesday, so after that happens, I'm going to be trying to definitely at least give it a good go to go for number one in the world, but we will see um, how the meta is after these cards are nerfed. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go for a knight in the back now. Probably going to go wizard as well. I'm not sure if he has fireball or not. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, so yeah, he does have fireball. He's probably going to zap this as well. Uh, wizard. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Tesla in the center here, and then there's Skellies, as well as Log to push off the giant and kill like the rest of the skeletons. So yeah, Tesla's, Tesla's doing a pretty good job of cleaning that up, and yeah, we're just gonna cycle another knight in the back. He goes for a monk in the in the uh, back, so I'm just gonna match that with the wizard. I don't think he has fireball back in cycle yet. Uh, I could be wrong, obviously, but this time I'm actually going to just go for a rocket on top of that um, eye drag. He's going to zap the wizard in any second now. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually going to go for a log and then skellies because we know it zaps out of cycles. And um, we can counter the mini P.E.K.K.A. and save our Tesla. So his tower's down to 600. Um, that's two rockets or just a couple logs or like, you know, an expert connection would also be great. He's going to go for a fireball. I'm just going to go for a... Oh no, I think I'm late on that rocket, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm late on the rocket, so that was pretty bad for me. He pops ability really early, though, so I think I'm chilling. Um, all we need to do is get back to one more rocket. And, yeah, I think we're chilling. So, Witch is going to get on tower, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Knight to hold mini back up, and then, yeah, we're back to rocket. Going to give him a good game. He played that pretty well. Um, we got that really big lock on early. And Wizard was pretty solid on defense that game, I'd say. It definitely got a lot of value. Um... So yeah, hopefully we can win like a bunch in a row. The season did just reset, but we are we have pushed up a little bit. Like it's not like we're at the very beginning of the leagues. So should be getting some okay competition. Um in the next game here against Mr. Wong. Just gonna split skeletons in the back. And he goes for a giant skelly. I'm just gonna actually go for an expo other lane. Kind of similar to the first game right there. Like they're just playing so much elixir in the back, like right off the bat. So I'm gonna try and punish that if I can. Looks like he's playing Mother Witch, Giant Skeleton, Fisherman. So maybe like an RG deck or something. Yeah, with a ghost, it's probably RG or something like that at least. Um, Wizard's going to take out the ghost pretty well. And it should be a little bit of annoying. Like a little bit annoying for him to deal with on defense. Um, looks like he has zappies. It actually fries two of the zappies. That's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, we don't have to do anything. That's That's really nice. I love, like, how much splash damage the wizard gets. I think it is actually a little bit underrated as a card, but it's it's just, like, a little bit too expensive um, to fit in most decks because Cycle is really, really good in this game, I would say. Um, so we're going to go Expo Tesla at the bridge here, log off this gang as well, and we should actually get a connection, I think, because he just played 9 Elixir, and unless he plays something else, this is going to lock on for, like, a couple hundred damage. Yeah, okay, so we get about three, 400 damage-ish. Oh, okay. Uh, wizard for the pigs. I think this is good. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, nice. Wizard three shots the pigs and then turns and hits the other one. That was, yeah, very clean. Um, like, for example, if I had a nice wizard in that scenario, it probably would have gotten way more damage. So it's going to actually get two shots on tower as well. I'm going to go for the king tower activation with the without taking any hits. And then just go for a knight on top of the zappies. And yeah, pretty solid right there. So, Wizard is actually going to get a ton of value in this matchup because he has the Zappies, the Mother Witch, the Royal Hogs, like pretty much a bunch of splash, or uh, a bunch of swarm units, excuse me. Um, so, we're going to go with the Wizard to the side and then Skeletons in the middle to pull the Skeleton over. And, oh yeah, he made a big mistake right there with that, I'll be honest. That Wizard is cleaning up the pigs. Um, just going to go for an Expo at the bridge now. He, we know he doesn't have Giant Skeleton in Cycle. And, oh yeah, we I think we win this. Wizard's gonna get on Zappies as well. Oh, a two-shot Zappies, that's so good. Um, double Wizard on the board. Just going to go Skeletons to make sure this uh, takes Tower. And 20 seconds left. Okay, we don't take Tower actually, somehow. Um, let's see if he's still trying. Yeah, he's just gonna give up, it looks like. So yeah, really, really good, like matchup i'd say right there just because of the wizard and how much value it gets he also didn't have a spell to take it out so it just fried the royal hogs it fried the zappies fried the giant skeletons like honestly got a lot of value um but yes two games in so far it's actually looking really really good and yeah we're in challenger three now as well so that's nice um just gonna go for the third game here the beast Ooh, okay so it looks like we got some competition here um Gonna give him the good luck, and then just cycle. I don't know if Wizard in the back is necessarily a great play, like, to start the game, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, see what he has for it. Okay, so it looks like he's playing Graveyard if he has Skeleton King and Poison. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go with the Knight up high, I think, and then I'm just gonna try an Expo. Log off for the Bar Barrel. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's going to get a decent bit of damage. Or, I mean, I thought I was going to get a beat, or I'm going to get a decent bit of damage, sorry. Um, and then, I don't really have anything for this, I'll just nade it to the center so the other tower helps out. Um, kind of an awkward situation right there. He's going to laugh, because I think he, uh, thinks he's got this one in the bag. But, uh, he's definitely mistaken with that. So, we're going to go with the knight in the back. Because if I go Wizard, then he will poison it, um, and it's just free damage for him. He'll probably go in right here, to be honest. Yeah, okay, so... Um, oh, maybe I should have logged. I think I made a mistake right there. Yeah, I definitely did. Um, but either way... Yeah, he's going to get, like, a thousand damage with that push, so... Not the end of the world, but definitely, like, could have been defended better. I probably should have not went with the wizard since we knew he was going to poison. Um, but I'm going to go expo on the right lane, actually, because Skeleton King's at a cycle. And, okay, we actually lock, walk on, so we should get, like, 600 damage. Kind of even out the towers. Um, that's actually really good because I'm going to want to go to the right lane anyways. Because if I uh, play expo on the left, it's just a free poison for him. So... Just gonna go knight in the back on the left side here and then go tesla in the center okay he's going skeleton king, skeleton king in the back i'm gonna go wizard opposite lane so he cannot poison um my weaker tower um i kind of have an awkward hand here i'll be honest so okay that was really bad i should not have went expo right there but i thought he wasn't gonna poison that wizard so i'm um, kind of unlucky timing right there Gonna go with a Tesla. Okay, that's a pretty bad graveyard, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Um, looks like we are defending it pretty well. Oh, he gets a couple of... Yeah, he gets a couple of RNG shots from the end of that graveyard, so a little bit unlucky right there. But we're gonna go for a defensive expo now and try and... Maybe out cycle his poison or something. Um, Knight for the Ice Wizard. Just to make sure not to take any damage. And then he already did use poison, so I can go Wizard in the back freely now. That's really nice, actually, because it's going to help me control this lane way more. Um, I'm actually going to rocket the Skeleton King and the Baby Dragon, because that's too much value to pass up, in my opinion. And he's going to be forced to drop something on the wizard, something else as well, because it's still alive. Um, 
Tombstone. Wow, okay, so he does that. I'm actually going to go with an Expo in the middle here. Um, that Expo's going to connect. Yeah, okay, so Tesla's doing pretty good. And we actually get a lot of damage on that right lane right there. I'm going to go Wizard in the center. If he poisons that, I'm really chilling. Okay, he does. Nice, nice, nice. So we're going to go Expo right away. Try and keep the pressure. Pretty much the rest of this game, that's what I'm going to be doing, is just pressuring. So Tesla to help clean up whatever he places, in this case the Barbarrel. Um, log on both these tombstones, he's probably back to Skeleton King. Yeah, he is. Okay, so that was well played by him. But we are in a decent cycle now. Um, I'm going to go for a Wizard. Actually, um, I'm going to go Knight in the back on the left lane just to make sure I have something back there. And then Wizard and then Expo. He's probably going to Poison. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to Tesla high for that Baby Dragon. Log to kill that Barbarrel, and maybe we get a lock on here? Oh yeah, we do. Nice. So really, really solid, like, log because it caught him off guard. And he was not expecting the um, Expo to get on tower that quickly. So we're going to go with another Expo, actually, and keep the pressure high. Um, he should be pretty much... Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he has nothing. So... Yeah, GG. Um, Expo finishes it off. I don't even need the Rocket. Wizard really came in clutch in that matchup, just, like killing all the swarm units so like what is that three no yeah something like that um i like i kind of like the um christmas loading screen and stuff it's getting me in the christmas spirit like wanting like i want to uh like put on pjs or something and listen to christmas music that kind of spirit um just gonna allow this to connect and then go for a log but yeah christmas is coming up pretty soon i'm actually pretty excited for that um, get to go back home and take a break from college for a little bit, so that's gonna be nice. So, anyway, just gonna go for a Skellies, and then I think Wizard will do pretty well against the Phoenix. Um, oh yeah, it does really well against the Phoenix, actually. So, it's gonna one-shot that, nice. Um, and then it's gonna clean up the Wizard, as, the Ice Wizard as well. Uh, clearly, the, uh, normal Wizard is way better than the Ice Wizard. At least, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so he's gonna go Musketeer, I'm gonna go with a, oh, okay, I'm actually gonna go with a low Tesla, and then, uh, okay, I probably should have logged both of those, because now I think the Musk's gonna connect, yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake by me, but I, for some reason I thought the, um, Skeleton Barrel would die quicker, but anyways, we're fine, just gonna go for a Knight in the back, he goes Banded, that's good for me, um, We'll just drop skeletons in front of the knight just to make sure the first hit doesn't do too much. Um, and then we'll go for a wizard in the back. I think Tesla of High is a good play against Phoenix um, pretty much almost every time. Especially when you already have a unit like a knight um, tanking. So, not sure if he has a big spell. If he doesn't, I'm going to be able to win the game right here, I think. Um, so we're going to go Ice Wiz. Or not Ice Wiz, Expo at the bridge, uh, it actually locks on, I wish it, I kind of wish it did hit the musketeer, because now I'm going to have to deal with the musketeer on defense, um, but yeah, we're going to go skelly, just to prolong the lifetime of that, uh, expo on the tower, and then, just going to go for a knight to kill the skeleton barrel, not going to waste the nato, um, okay, I'm actually going to activate king tower right here, I think, yeah, pretty solid right there, um, that timing is actually a little bit difficult to get to only allow the bandit the, the dash charge and no more like additional hits But I think I've done it enough to where I should be like I'm, I'm pretty much every time getting that timing down So yeah, I'm gonna go for a rocket on both of these troops right here Pretty solid value um, And then just log off uh, We'll go for a skeletons to pull this um, dragon over and then go wizard for the barrel Knight as well to help deal with the bandit and yeah we're looking really good right now just gonna keep the pressure up with the expos and see what he has for this um log should be really good in this scenario and yeah wizard's still alive putting in work wow that just did a bunch of damage against the dark prince um nato off and that should just pretty much be ggs um does he have enough elixir to even okay yeah uh, all we need to do is rocket so yeah Pretty solid, like, another game where we pretty much dominate, and the wizard is MVP, I'd say. It just gets so much value, um, f like, from changing first on defense, and then it also gets a lot of value on offense, like, even after it plays defense. 
So yeah, it's looking really solid right now. Um, maybe Firebow's like a new deck. Maybe it's becoming meta. Who knows? I'm just going to give him the good luck. And we're going to... Uh, I think he knows who I am, so I'm just going to give him the baby dragon uh, kissing emote. Um, so, going to go for skeletons in the center here. And then we'll just go Tesla on top of the princess. Not really sure... Uh, Lumberjack Princess. I don't really know what he's running, so we're gonna figure out. Okay, um, yep, alright. This is, uh, yep, 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 okay. Um, I was kind of scared that King Tower activation would not work since the hog was raged, but luckily it did. Um, or that would have been a lot of trouble. So, anyways, um, Wizard. Wow, Mega Minion. I have not seen Mega Minion in a long time, just because how good the Phoenix is. Um, but maybe with the nerf coming up, that uh, the Mega Minion will, like, be back in the meta a little bit at least. Um, but yeah, anyways, just gonna go for a Knight in the back. He's gonna split Archers, so we know he has Lumberjack and Hog Rider. Um, we're gonna log this right lane here. And then I think um, just Tesla in the center is a pretty safe play. He's gonna go Miner and then Hog Rider. Um, yeah, we're chilling actually. I think this is actually a really good scenario because I know I'm up like one or two elixir. Yeah, okay, so this is solid. Wizard should take out the princess. Okay, no, it's not. Um, that was a really good Mega Minion by him actually. Perfect time. Uh, okay, I missed time the skeletons right there. I was trying to obviously block for that um, Mega Minion, but I was scared that the princess would shoot and splash them, so I was kind of waiting too long right there. Um, but yeah, we still get a bunch of damage. Tower's down to 1300. Just gonna cycle a knight in the back now. He goes archers. I have not seen him play a big spell yet, so we're just gonna go with a... Okay, um... Yep, we're chilling, I think. Oh, he has freeze. Oh, okay, so... I'm glad that we figured that out now and not later on. Um, so, Princess should die pretty easily, and then I'm gonna go Tesla at the bridge. That should just be GG straight up. Yeah, that's game. So, really, like, interesting deck from him. Lumberjack, Miner, Hog Rider, Freeze. I like it a lot. Um, we're pretty much, yeah, we actually get Tower there. He's not gonna be able to Freeze anything since I do have King Tower activated. And, yeah, pretty, like, off-meta deck. I really like that deck from him, personally. Um, we're just gonna go for an expo on the King Tower, see if he wants to uh, let us 3-star him. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's having it, so... Yeah, he's gonna freeze as well, so yeah. Um, man, this deck is dominant right now, guys. I don't know what it is, but, like, these win- Like, even winning games early season with Ice was not this easy. So maybe this is, like, actually a decent deck. I might actually keep trying it a little bit if we keep having success. Um, maybe in future videos, or just, you know, on ladder, just testing it myself. So yeah, anyways, just gonna go for- give him the good luck. Um, we're in League 3 now, so we already passed League 2. Um, just gonna go for a Wizard on the Hog, since I didn't have my NATO or my uh, Tesla in cycle. Kind of unlucky, to be honest. But not the worst thing ever, because like I said, the counter push potential with the Wizard is just really good. Um, it gets a shot on Tower right there as well, and my Expo actually does a decent bit of damage. Like, just even after getting Earthquake and Logged, so... Yeah, pretty happy with that. Um... We're actually up 300 damage, even though we kind of got starting handed right there. So I'm just going to go for a Tesla in the center, and then pull the giant skeleton with skeletons. Um, he goes for a hog. This should just be a decently easy King Tower activation. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm going to get that up right away. Hopefully he does not have mirror or something weird like that. Um, he's going to go queen at the bridge, so we'll just go knight right on top. He's going to pop the ability, and then, yeah, we're just going to go for a lower log. Hmm, okay, Queen still gets a shot. Hmm, okay, so he's got Giant Skeleton, Earthquake, Hog. I'm pretty sure this is like a meta deck a few seasons ago. So we're just going to go for a Wizard in the back, ignore that Ice Spirit. Yeah, he's gonna go giant skelly i don't know if that's a great play from him but i'm expecting him to also play archer queen um yeah okay there it is i'm actually gonna nato off um, wizard's putting in 
Oh my goodness, Wizard is going ham on that queen. Yeah, it actually like two shotted it down to into log range. So that's pretty broken right there. Um Yeah. So kinda have to be worried about Hog Rider right here. I'm just gonna play Wiz in the back and then go Tesla because I did manage to cycle back in time. So that's pretty clutch. Um I think we need to go for a defensive expo in this scenario because if I go offensive expo or just rocket, I think I'll get overwhelmed. Um, he does end up earthquaking it, which is good. I'm just gonna go for a rocket on tower now and then skeletons. He's probably gonna hog. Okay, yeah. Um, so we'll go for a knight on top of the queen and then have to go the hog rider to the king tower. Um, just gonna go low log. Queen's probably gonna get a little bit of damage. Yeah. But it is what it is. Skeletons to help clean up the giant skelly. And then he's probably going to go hog again, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, there it is. So we do have NATO back in cycle buckle. Um, just activate. Not activate. We can keep NATO going back to king so my tower doesn't die. Um, we need two rockets and a couple more spells. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get that. Uh, we'll see. Oh, no. Queen's 1 HP. No, rip the wizard. Oh, that's unfortunate. But anyways, just going to go for a Tesla high. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good situation. Um, he's going to go hog in the center. I don't know if that's a great play from... Oh, wow. He's playing a lot of elixir on offense like right now. So we're going to go for a defensive expo again. Log the queen so he can't activate ability. And I think we're free to go for a rocket now. Um... I'm gonna go Tesla first just to make sure I don't get overwhelmed. And Wizard Blow, and now we can definitely go for a rocket. Oh yeah, he Earthquakes as well, so that's pretty much. I wanna say that's game. Um, I'm gonna go for an Expo since we know Giant Skeleton's out of cycle. And yeah, that's a good game. He didn't know what to do. I'm just gonna Nato Log to finish off the tower quicker. And yeah, pretty solid like win. Not a great matchup either, so it's definitely like. Had to, had to make some outplays right there. And Wizard on defense literally was doing so much damage to the to the hogs and, like, the giant skeletons. So that's pretty crazy. Um, we're going to go for one more game. See if we can remain unbeaten with this deck. I think we've won six, five or six in a row. Something pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, last game here against Miss Dynamite. Just going to give him or her the good luck. Um, giant skeleton the bridge right at the beginning. Wow, okay, Dark Goblin. So really aggressive uh, play style right here. I'm kind of tempted to just go explore their lane, but I'm going to wait. And um, set up a wizard in the back. Even if you're up elixir, sometimes like exploding right away is just not the play because there's so many cards that can counter it for like cheaper cost than what the expo's worth. Um, we're going to actually NATO this. Hey, I did not mess up the NATO for the first time in forever with the Skeleton King. I'm so happy with that one. Um, I do always get roasted in the comments because I don't know how to do that activation very well. But uh, yeah, this time we actually got it, so pretty happy with that. Just gonna go for an expo with this knight, I think. And okay, he's got Mega Knight. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, I think we'll just log this Mega Knight to kind of make sure it dies and doesn't get on my tower. Expo actually gets like 400 damage as well. That's pretty clutch. So. Definitely not the worst start in the world. Um, we'll go Skellies for this Dark Goblin. Hopefully this fully counters it. Okay, no, it doesn't. I don't really know how, but yeah, whatever. Um, so we got Nato to just pull the Skeleton King away. Since King Tower is activated, I don't want to take any death damage. And yeah, I'm just going to cycle another Knight in the back. So we're going to have to figure out how to get through Valkyrie, Mega Knight, and Giant Skeleton <laughs> um, with our Expo somehow. I think Wizard's going to be key in uh, the in damaging down his troops in this matchup. So yeah, we're just going to go for his Log on the Witch right there. Wizard in the back in case he wants to go in. Yeah, he looks like he is going to go in with the Giant Skelly. Um, we'll pull that to the side and then, alright, we're going to NATO everything on the right lane here. Knight up high to kite everything back, and then we'll just go for a log on this skeleton barrel. Also going to expo. We know he has Mega Knight, though, so this might not work too well. Um, it actually connects on towers, so he played that a little bit late. Going to go for a wizard to help DPS the Mega Knight. 
You can just skeletons up high to make sure it doesn't jump. Yeah, really clean right there. Um, he's still going to have to respond to that wizard. With like a decent bit of elixir, he actually goes giant skelly the bridge, so that's really good for me. Um, Tesla's putting in pretty good work. And then we can just go knight in the center here, log for the dart goblin. Uh, wasted bats right there, so we don't need to worry about that. And then wizard in the center again to just like put in work. And then we can just go skellies for this barrel. And he goes giant skeleton. Um, I'm going to actually going to go for a nato to pull this off. Ooh, I think that's a good game. Yeah, I think it is. Nice, Expo's broken. Um, so yeah, pretty solid, like, just NATO right there to win the game. He's not too happy, or he or she, I guess it's a miss. He's not too happy about that play. But anyway, yeah, we go 7-0 and with this deck. This deck is kind of crazy, I'll be honest. Um, we make it to uh, League 3 as well, just from one push. Um, so yeah, gonna get the mastery for the wizard. As you guys can see, it's like the first time using it. But anyway, this deck was really fun to play. And yeah, um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.